the Resident Evil franchise is all over the goddamn place. The first three mainline titles started out as fixed camera survival horror games on the PS1. Then they made another fixed camera title exclusively for the Dreamcast while also making two weirdo light gun games. They did a Game Boy Color game that was poorly received to remake the first Resident Evil while also in the same year made a game called Resident Evil Zero which takes place before the original. They did some co-op shooter guard garbage then took the series into an action horror direction while making two rail shooters and a mercenary spin-off then they made Resident Evil Revelations which was exclusive on the 3DS not to be confused with Revelations 2 which was available on home consoles and the PS Vita then they took the series into the first person perspective they remade the second game remade the third made two weirdo multiplayer focused games which were kind of shit and then finally they made a title with a big booby lady that everyone was horny over. That is a crap ton of Resident Evil games and all of them have their own weird gameplay quirks that they keep overlapping itself with previous titles. The series has turned into such a sludge of mechanics and ideas that it is impressive that it's still standing up straight. And the universal agreement out of all of these titles is that Resident Evil 4 was the most influential one. This game is the reason third person shooters have mutated to the state they are currently in. It's also like uh, one of the highest rated games of all time. RE4 is a good game, but if I'm honest, I think RE4 Remake kind of kicked RE4 out of the window because I wholeheartedly think that RE4 is better than RE4. I, th I hope that isn't confusing in any way, shape or form. Before I start though, I have to confess something. I've never completed the original Resident Evil 4. I've played through it a fair chunk, but I was never really able to get into it simply because of how clunky it is to control. Firstly, you walk around with tank controls, which is annoying to begin with. It isn't as bad as the previous titles but it's still a bit iffy. Reloading can only be done while scoping in plus you can't move while doing it. QTEs are abundant and some of them instantly kill you. Weapon swapping is tedious. Ashley doesn't shut the hell up. Can't you see that I'm busy Ashley? Like god damn man leave me alone. Give me some space. RE4 Remake takes all of these annoyances and just straight up fixes them. Modernizing the entire experience. Reloading and weapon swapping can be done on the fly. QTEs have mostly been completely removed. You can walk while scoping in and I know right groundbreaking technology. Instead of having to deal with all of these annoyances from the original game you can just focus on the actual combat of RE4. No interferences attached to it and it's good. It's fun as hell man. I haven't enjoyed a triple A game this much since Elden Ring and that game is already more than a year oh old. The way I look at it is like this. If I play your game and you kept me entertained throughout, you did a good job. If you managed to make me want to play it again or redo levels immediately after, congrats, you've probably made something great. But if you managed to make me replay the same game 8 times in the span of 10 days, that's when you know that you've made a straight up a banger. Combat, horror and resource management. These are the three things Resident Evil 4 excels at in my opinion. And you immediately see all of this coming together in the village sequence at the start of the game. This part was already iconic in the original Resident Evil 4. But they dialed it up to 11 in the remake. It is so hectic and intense. You end up hiding in this little house trying to barricade yourself in while you're being surrounded by infected freaks. You find a shotgun to blast through the residence. You struggle, you flee, whole houses come crumbling down, burning cows run around until you hear that church bell go off and everyone suddenly stops. This is how you start a video game and RE4 keeps upping the action, keeps upping the pace until you end up going into each encounter, guns blazing, roundhouse kicking all the weirdos in your path and every encounter ends up being slightly different, making you come up with small little strategies on the fly. Enemies will fake you out, you can duck under shovels and mazes to avoid taking damage, shoot dynamite that the infected are holding to make it blow up, drop candles to light the enemies on fire 
fire. Use flashes to instantly get rid of spaghetti weirdos. Weapons hold by the enemies will actually block a bullet. Shields crumble depending on where you hit them. You can parry this machine gun attack like an actual madman. It has a lot of these very small and simple little mechanics that don't seem special on its own. But when they come together they form this sandbox of toys that you can mess around with. And this is what makes Resident Evil 4 so much fun. This is what makes it so replayable. Throughout your playthrough you will also accumulate a lot of cash, gems and treasures. And the latter two can sometimes be combined together and be sold to the merchant for even more doubloons. And with these doubloons you can upgrade your weapons to make them even more powerful. There's a little strategy involved in choosing which weapons you want to upgrade since all the weapon categories serve completely different purposes. Pistols are used to get rid of single enemies from medium to close range. Shotguns to deal quick burst damage at an extreme close range. SMGs for when you're getting surrounded and you need to give yourself some space. Rifles for long range magnums to get rid of multiple enemies at once or deal a big chunk of damage quickly and uh, the, the bolt thrower for never because this thing is really awkward to use. I hate it. I personally really liked rocking the Red 9 with the stock, the riot shotgun and the stingray but really all the weapons are good in their own way. The Punisher is really accurate, the striker can easily hit multiple enemies at once, the rocket launcher is a goddamn rocket launcher that can insta kill everything. There is a fun variety of weapons at your disposal and trying to make your own custom loadout is a blast. Plus upgrading your kit forces you to talk to the merchant which uh, th this is the best character in the entire series okay. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, mate. Got my hands on a fine piece of kit I did. You don't want to pass up on this. That cash in your pocket or your life. Easy choice, mate. Like I said, this is the best character in the entire series. So yeah, that's the main slice of the gameplay. Of course, you also have little gimmick sections, puzzles and bosses, which are hit and miss at times, but most of it slaps. RE4 Remake is good. It's really, really goddamn good. Again, I've completed this game eight times so far and I'm still craving for more. They took everything from the original RE4 and in improved upon it. They stripped off all the fat so the game can really shine and I haven't even mentioned that you can unlock a goofy little chicken hat. This is how you do a remake okay? Just, just give me a chicken hat and we're cool. This also means uh, the, the next Resident Evil they gotta remake is uh, Resident uh -oh. Evil 5 which uh, yeah, th that's going to be something to say the least. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can become the, the number one uh, YouTuber in the world. This is v very reasonable. Thanks for watching. Bye! Blah 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 blah